garden. Welcome to week three, right here in the garden. And yes, I am your city farm girl. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that right now. All right guys, so this week, um, I'm just gonna show you around the garden. It'll be really quick, it's hot out here today. Um, being in that it's Memorial weekend, so happy Memorial um, Day to all of you all. And um, I'm pulling on some strings here. And so we're just gonna take a look at a lot of the things that have decided to bloom and decided to grow. It's a lot, it's just a burst of growth that has happened in the garden um, from last week. So that's what makes these week to week um, garden tours so much fun is that they just, it's just an explosion of growth. I just saw a really huge bumblebee on my carrot bloom. It was amazing. I was just about to show you guys. Dang. Okay, you guys remember when those beans um, didn't germinate? Um, or they rotted in the ground because we had so much rain. Well, I did replant, right? Remember, I replanted them and guess what we got? So we have, these are the, the beans that were already here that did survive and they're growing really well. But then we have beans that have come up, you guys. Look at the beans. They're going all the way down the row. And you know, I stuck these, um, I stuck those onions in there, um, cause I had some leftover onions or whatever, and I stuck those in there, but they're doing so good. These over here, they're doing amazing. Look at those. And then over here is the watermelon and um, squash patch here. These are doing so, so good. I wanted to I try to get out here while the blooms are still open on some of these squash plants and I missed that window. So we'll see them next time. But the watermelons are doing really, really good. And look at the tomatillo. This, uh, this was a, um, it just, uh, you know, receded from last season, season, this tomatillo. And then I have another one over there that's doing really good. You guys, do you all know the name of this? um plant this it's a weed i guess but i just wanted to let it grow because i am just so fascinated with how big it's getting and it's nothing but with greens i'm like is this edible if you guys know let me know my husband thought it was poke salad but i looked it up and poke salad looks different than this all right guys so that was the beans and the watermelon and squash bed so i came up here because i just wanted to give you guys an update on the okra all of the okra is coming up this is the red burgundy variety that's coming up and believe it or not i have germination all the way down the row all the way down i want to say a hundred percent germination on these red burgundy beans and i believe um the red burgundy seeds excuse me i believe that um i just had a bad batch of uh, seeds all right tomatoes are coming along quite nicely and um, the growth is about thigh high. Okay, so they're going, they're doing really, really, really well. Um, okay, so um, a lot of people like to um, cut off the arms when they kind of start branching out and splitting off from um, the plant. And what they're doing is, the reason for that is the, when the suckers form, kind of like this one right here. When that sucker forms in there, it creates that another extension, another arm there. And then you'll just have a kind of a plant that kind of just sprawls out going everywhere. A lot of people like to grow their tomatoes going, growing straight up the trellis without the arms and all the branches or whatnot. But believe it or not, I mean, the plant is gonna do what it's supposed to do. And I let this one go the way it wanted to grow. And as you can see, it had one of the little suckers that came out of this arm here and I did not cut it off I let it grow and it sprung off some blooms here and um, that those of course you know the blooms when you see blooms you see you'll see tomatoes when they get when it's pollinated um, and so here I have some little tiny if you can see them guys the little tiny tomatoes right there on this plant 
Um, I will probably prune this one back just a little bit, but not much because I'm gonna this year I'm gonna let a lot of my tomatoes kind of just grow and do what they want to do. I'm not going to take off a lot of the suckers, but I will do a little bit of pruning when I see that it's kind of out of shape or kind of going to the left or right the wrong way and I kind of want it to do a little bit better. I'll shape it up a little bit. So just to show you guys what that is and what that means and for all the new gardeners out there, when you have, like for instance, this one right here, I might take this one off. And I might take this one off because, um, let me look at it first. I don't see any blooms on here. Okay, so um, I'm gonna come around this way so you can see. Okay, so I don't see any blooms on this little branch here. And since it's in between this arm, this one and this one, this one right here would probably create an imbalance in the plant for me. And that's because right now, even though I let this one branch out from here and I did not remove that one, it's still standing upright and it still has a nice upright behavior. And I like that, okay? Now this would cr create an imbalance in that behavior and it would make it more heavier to the right so in that case I'm just gonna remove that one right there and I'm gonna take that one out and I'm taking that one out for that reason um, this one let's see and then there's a little tiny one down in here I'll just remove that but I'm gonna keep the other ones going the other ones can stay and look got another little tomato right there that's cool all right, so um, that's what you do when you kind of want to remove your suckers that kind of spring off from these um, side shoots here and on the arm of the plant. You can do that or you can leave it and you can let it grow however you like. Some people just let them grow and just let them sprawl out however they want to. Um, but I do like to train them up to have more of an upright behavior so that they don't topple over and just kind of go crazy wild and out of control my what is this oh my butternut squash germinated down here yay I'm so excited about that and I still have some of them peeking out of the soil so those germinated these are black-eyed Susan vines a lot of them are um, these were transplants a few of these were transplants and a lot of them a lot of a lot of them were self um, that reseeded from last season like a lot of those they just reseeded from last season okay over here we turned over here so we have the first black-eyed Susan of the season isn't isn't she beautiful Ooh. looking beautiful And here I have my market more cucumbers that have come up all the way down that row. I'm going to be sowing some carrots over here. I'm going to have the boys and I will do that together. And then we have these cucumbers here that have done really, really well. They're coming along nicely. And I watered this uh, garden in really well yesterday, so it's really nice and moist. I have um, a little area right here I'm gonna use for a climbing variety of squash this squash looks to be doing really good and the onions are doing well they're growing really really good you guys um, a lot of the rain a lot of wind well I could say I don't know heat I think heat has a lot to do with it too that causes them to droop um, and I had to water this bed in really well so they could be more established. Over here, we have the sugar magnolia peas and they are just, oh my gosh, they are doing so good. And then we have the sugar daddies on this side. They're doing really well and um, we'll harvest these today as well. Yippee, lots of sugar snap beans. So let's see what else is new. Over here in this cut flower bed, the sunflowers are reaching about four and a half, four feet tall. They're really big. 
and um, my lettuce is drooping from the heat really really hot um, we're gonna harvest some of this mustard greens today because they are amazing they are absolutely huge and um, definitely ready for harvest I have been waiting for them to just get to full maturity and they're huge they are absolutely massive um, my hand they're huge look at that massive some of them are trying to bolt so I do want the seeds though but I don't want them to bolt right now so we'll take some of the seed heads off and let them keep growing like that one is trying this is the cabbage look at the growth on these they're getting really really large a lot larger from last week right look at that one it's actually starting to look like a cabbage I love it love it love it love it over here in this um, pumpkin and squash bed these are doing really well look at the growth just from last week amazing right amazing I'm so excited I don't like that this is an empty spot right here guys so I think I'm going to plant something in there and I have a little empty spot up there and I'm gonna plant something in that one too <laughs> okay um, did you guys like the cut flower video um, if you haven't seen that check it out I show you how you can use things that you normally wouldn't think of as a cut flower like these beautiful carrot blooms in your garden and um, you can use them as cut flowers also I mean look how many blooms you get all right guys let's harvest the sugar snap beans now and the mustard greens So this is the taste test for the Sugar Magnolia Sweet Pea. Mmm, it's really sweet. I like it. Our neighbors are over there in the pool. Oh gosh. Mmm, I like that. Really fresh, really crisp really sweet that sugar magnolia and then this is the the sugar daddy hmm okay they want me to grill <laughs> I'm tasting the sugar snap peas they are so good guys okay I really like them so I would definitely recommend growing the sugar magnolia sweet pea Okay, so let's go ahead and harvest our mustard greens because the mustard greens are huge and I'm really ready to harvest them. So these mosquitoes are tearing me up. I'm out here guys in these gardening streets and it is hot and it's humid and these mosquitoes are really vicious. So I'm gonna hurry up and harvest the mustard greens and I believe I'm gonna freeze them for now because I'm not really ready to cook them today. So that's what I'll do. I'll just kind of like, um, maybe just kind of saute them just slightly and then I'll freeze them. So let's harvest.
so that's it for today and today's harvest I hope you've enjoyed the um, tour and just the quick harvest that we had and yeah so like this video if you like it and I hope you do subscribe if you're new and share this video if you want to and we will see you on the next video bye guys